Alrighty, what's going on guys? <coughs> so, I do have a question to my subscribers. Um, so lately, I was uh, in a trend, uh, what's uh, hype and uh, what's popular is connecting two different batteries. When I say two different batteries, two different capacities of battery in parallel, right? So what is what does that give you? In Paro, um, you will get a uh, same voltage, different capacity. Obviously larger because that's the original purpose that you made your mind to uh, connect your whatever battery you have in parallel. Um, so my question is, and I have an opinion, and I do have an answer, but I definitely want to hear from every body that is subscribed to me what do they think um it, it's nice when uh you know when i see that everybody's interacting because i love to get these answers out in the open uh in comments below because it seems everybody has a different opinion but in reality it's not that simple you know it's not that simple when you take 72 volts and another 72 volt battery and you connect them in parallel and you think that you've beat the system. So it's not, it's not so easy. So just, just, just think about it and uh, give me a second to explain what am I exactly talking about? So let's say hypothetically, uh, you have a 72 volt battery and let's say, uh, 50 amp hour, right? Which so happens conveniently for us that that's what I have. And you are in possession of additional 72 volt battery, 20 amp hour. And your first pack, let's say, has hypothetically LG cells. And your second one has Samsung cells, right? Now, we're going to go deeper into this because lots of people do it because it is so popular, so famous. And then they'll realize that they are damaging the uh, battery, right? Now, again, everybody's got his own opinion. I have uh, done studies on my own batteries of how this actually works. So, and I'm going to prove it to you that what I'm saying is actually close to uh, a fact rather than a myth, right? So it's like a legend. Anyhow, so you have first pack your LG, second pack your, your, your Samsung batteries, and of course, now you look, and if you're lucky, you have the specs of what battery cells you carry. If you're lucky, you have the specs, and you hope it's 1865, whatever the fuck the battery you use, 21, 700, whatever you're using, right? You also realize, if you're lucky, you have specs on your battery cells, and it tells you the discharge amps, right? It tells you the capacity. It does tell you the size, 21,700, 1875, whatever the numbers are, that's your measurements, right? Um, so it really depends where you got your battery from. You might have all this information or not. Now, if you have all that information of what you bought, what was built for you, either custom or you already bought it uh, uh, built, you would have, luckily, all that information. Now, knowingly, you are going to connect both batteries, right? With a parallel connection. Okay, now going deeper into the entire uh, diagram, you might say, uh, you also have a BMS, battery management system, right? Uh, you also have a discharge on the battery, which is a peak discharge and a continuous discharge, and a burst, right? So we all hope, to the best of our knowledge, that our, again, measurements, it's 1875, 21700, that they are the same, um, that the capacity are the same, that the uh, amp discharge is the same, okay, that now, the uh, BMS discharge is the same that the uh, BMS uh, peak and boost amp is the same. Now, 
how can I say it? Um, I possibly do not see how these two batteries could work in conjunction as one. Um, again, properly, flawlessly, without issues, problems, wear and tear, right? So, saying saying that, okay, uh, just, just imagine how could you say that a four-cylinder car can operate the same way as a four-cylinder turbo car? How could a four-cylinder operate as a six-cylinder or eight-cylinder or 12 or 10-cylinder, which is a Viper, right? It's literally impossible. These are two different natures. They, they, they will, you know, mix. They will run, but how, at what capacity and at what, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, stage are they going to work together, you know? Um, it's, it's, it's funny now. So let's just hope we all have all these answers, all these specs on our sheet that we got from the manufacturer, from the creator of the battery. And hopefully you were the creator of the battery. So you know what you got. And, but you still know that you have a 72 volt battery, 50 amp hour, and you have 72 volt battery, 20 amp hour, right? With the amp hours we can work, um, I really would love to, let's say, I would have to go at extreme to be a perfect combustion together uh, because um, if I, let's say, have a 30 amp hour battery, I would love to match it up with a 30 amp hour battery, right? That would be, you know, where dream come true. Um, so let's say, yeah, 50, I mean, it would be really nice to put another 50 if you have the space, of course. Um, but now, moving forward, right? Now you're talking about two different cells. I never seen two different cells identical, okay? Whether it was continuous charge, discharge, uh, peak discharge, boost, whatever you, there is no way, right? Now, if these batteries have, let's say, hypothetical, the same exact specs, right, and they are brand new, you might be successful to run the battery for, you know, some time. Uh, you know, I'll say for, you know, probably three seasons. The third season, you'll see, you'll see a difference, right? So you might say, yeah, listen, three seasons is actually what I'm looking for. I don't, you know, I want to get a new battery after three seasons. Well, don't forget if you check you know, the prices on batteries, um, you know, you want a good battery, you probably will have to, uh, and this is in U.S., pay about $2,500. Uh, if you talk about from AliExpress or Alibaba, uh, you probably will have to spend $1,500 on a good battery, okay? Um, you know, are they going to be a good quality? It really all depends from, from the manufacturer, seller, the reputation, how long in the business do they, you know, sell only batteries or do they sell batteries and like or you know or or fucking cigarettes and cigars so you know if they have multi multi business i would stay away from that right now so please explain to me how does this work how would this battery operate right you have a panasonic and lg excuse me battery Okay. It's like having, or the old lithium. It's like having, I, I guess, it's like having um, lithium and lipo battery, right? It's like, you know, lithium battery has a discharge. Lipo battery has a ridiculous discharge. There's no comparison. So it's just, you know, again, I, I need you guys to get involved in the situation because it seems everybody, put, you know, putting a shark battery Everybody, I was close. Everybody is doing all kinds of things, right? And it just doesn't doesn't make any sense. That's that's the biggest problem. It's they are damaging. I I can't, you know, I can't understand that people don't understand, don't realize that two different batteries are not going to operate differently. So if you if you are, or if you have a source where you could you could get a uh, a battery from the same manufacturer and they're exactly the same, then I understand it, it totally makes sense. 
But if you're mixing LG with Samsung or Samsung with Sony or Panasonic or lithium or, or you know, Mali cells, you have Mali cells and you have Panasonic or Sony or LG, holy crap, how, how could you even think that Mali cells have the same discharge like 1860 batteries, you know? Uh, you know, maybe 21, uh, uh, 7, 21, 700 they, they'll, they'll have, but it's not a Mali cell. It's, it's, this just probably, it's, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's 45 amps. If you, if you get the real Mali cells, uh, LG uh, and Panasonic and Samsung, some of them get 30, 35. Again, you know, these are, uh, very, very delicate specifications that you got to follow and, uh, make sure that that happens. But it's like, you know, it's like having a car. And you have two Michelin tires in the front and two in the back, right? The car is going to drive. It's going to drive very comfortably. And uh, it is going to uh, operate smoothly. But, again, your front tire Michelin and, let's say, Cooper in the back have totally different specs. I don't care how close they are. They're still different. And they are going to be different no matter what you do, what you say. So there's your, there's your proof, there's your point that you should not mix two different types of cells into your bike. Don't have, let's say, Mali cells and then some Chinese knockoff to it. It's like, oh my God, it's horrible. It, it, it takes me off, right? Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know. Um, God, have I parallel batteries? Yes, I have. Both batteries were cheap, and uh, you know I was able to take the you know the, the plunge. If it goes bad, it goes bad. Um, <clears throat> where were they ever always evenly charged? No, they were not. Um, now here here is another question. Since they are so much the same, right? So if one battery has ADM uh, discharge BMS, and the other battery has ADM discharge BMS, that's again that would be a perfect world. Uh, but then. If they are a Bluetooth capable and you're able to do the settings at BMS, then you're lucky. But uh, what if you don't? You know, um, just like you have, you gotta understand, it's like you have chargers, right? My, my battery changed with a shit charger, right? It came with a shit, shit charger. It was pathetic and disgusting. Um, I used it for a year and I, 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 uh, I was like, eh, that's that's not really, really good. And I got a video where, you know, fucking thing went to bed and was charging like one amp and it was taking forever, right? Great. Now, I bought a better charger, right? And now the battery seems like it's staying in a healthier stage of charge and discharge. The uh, charge and discharge uh, 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 chemistry is so much more stable, you know? Of course, there's going to be an accident. So... This is exactly what I want. And just like my good friend Tony says, you know, uh, the faster you, you charge is the faster you're going to discharge it, right? So that's that's the whole thing. If you charge it at a slow rate, you're going to discharge it at a slow rate. So the battery is going to discharge slow rate. So it's better to charge slow than charge fast. Now, the only way when I would say charge it in a fast charge, smart fast charge, is that... Uh, you are out in the road and you're putting, you know, 12, 50, 15, 12, 15 amps, 12, 50 amps, 12, 15 amps at a battery because you're going to discharge it in the next, you know, three, four, five, six hours, whatever the case might be. Then I say go, go right at it and uh, do it that way. But if you're not, oh boy, somebody broke down the highway. Yep. So if you're not, you know, discharging the battery within 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 couple within Jesus Christ, man, shut the fuck up, fuck out of here, stupid fuck. Better be a dead fucking cop. Excuse my French. Anyway, so <laughs> this is this is the uh, the entire situation, right? That. See, I always get fucking interrupted with scumbags. He ain't even a cop. I can tell it from now. You can get the license silence by myself. 
get out of here, boy, before you get locked up for impersonating all the show. Anyhow, um, so yeah, please comment down below. Tell me, tell me what is it exactly you think about it. Tell me, am I right? Am I wrong? Do I make sense? Do I not make sense? Would you would you consider um, connecting your battery in parallel? Do you think that it is healthy and it's okay for the battery to have two different chemistries and and you know not exact specifications, not the same cell? Because I see people do it all the time, you know. All right, folks, I am going to stop the video because I'm stuck in traffic. But hopefully, uh, uh, you guys comment down below and uh, we get some answers. What is it exactly that we can do and which and what way can we connect our batteries in parallel? I personally, my opinion is I would not connect in a parallel unless it's the same cell, same sort of spe specification, and uh, pretty much same everything. Then I, I, I see how that works. Until then, folks, take care and uh, stick around for the next episode.